Hello, friends and followers. Well, here's a Central Electronics 100B Tale of Woe. I was using this thing last night thinking it worked pretty well. I had contacted a nice gentleman on sideband on 40 meters and we talked for half an hour. I thought, yeah, this thing is working. And I went to AM transmission. He heard me and said it had great AM. And I thought, well, maybe this thing, after all this work of a few months of fixing this transmitter, paid off. Well, it didn't pay off. So I was never able to get this transformer down in voltage. This transformer, when you give it 123 volts AC, which is what comes out of my wall sockets here, this will put about 850 volts out on the secondaries for the, uh, the final amplifier tubes in here. So when I got this radio, the owner that had it before had disconnected all these capacitors. So the way that I've arranged this radio is that two of these capacitors are in series for the... Um, B plus for the final, which is supposed to be about uh, 700 volts, and there's one for the 340 volts B plus. At any rate, I was using this radio today, trying to contact somebody on 10 meters on AM for the fun of it, of course, and I heard a loud boom, and the radio went out immediately. So. One of these capacitors shorted. I'm guessing it was the uh, middle one, but I don't know. These are brand new KMET capacitors I put in like months ago. They're awful expensive too, actually. So anyway, those went in there. One of those I think shorted, or a few of them, and made that big boom noise and blew the fuse in the back. So I did, uh, I did put a new fuse in this thing and brought it up on the very act to, uh, I don't know, 50 volts or so, and it made a pop sound again but didn't blow the fuse and so that's all i've done with it but it's pretty much caused me to have pause in continuing to put time into a losing battle so i'm definitely going to pull out this transformer i'm dismayed that i worked on the fan and got it to look all nice and the fan to go on here but i think this transformer is going to come out it probably works, just not in this radio. So, I don't know. Sell it on eBay for somebody that wants to buy or build a linear amplifier. I don't know. But I think a Tempo 1 power supply transformer will work in here. It won't really fit physically, but the windings are all correct. It has 500 volt windings. And pretty much you get like I don't know, 100, 200 more volts out of the winding. So 500 volts, rectify that, you'll get about 700 volts out, which is what these finals need. Actually, I think they want about 650, but hey, give them 700, I guess. And that would keep my capacitors in line as these are 450 volts a piece in series, and that gives you 900 volts. So you have about 200 volts of leadway so they won't explode. This capacitor is 450 volts, and I'm sure that I was putting about 540 volts into it. So, yeah, this this transformer is, is very hard to find in that it's very specific for the 200V, and I'm not sure why this one doesn't work, but 850 volts is just way too much P plus for this thing. And the way they run the B plus on this is they rectify off of uh, the two red leads at about 850 volts. The center tap lead on the transformer goes to power the uh, the 340 volt, so it'll power this capacitor. The uh, 850 volts, which should be 500, goes into these capacitors here through a diode bridge. I have the diode bridge down there in that little circular. Uh, little circular piece there in the 5U4 socket. So, yeah, this thing kind of has me a little depressed. I um, don't want to put much more time into it. But to make it work, I've come so far in making this thing work. So I have my 
feelers out for a um, Tempo One power supply. However, the eBay ripoff sellers are wanting a fortune for it, so that's how it goes. I'm a little dismayed at pulling out this transformer and putting in something else. I wish I could find something that's like this. It looks like this thing, at least. Maybe I could find it, but it's it's a lot of work. I've gone through looking at um, old Apache transformers, old Heathkit transformers, and nothing really fits the bill. The voltage is too low. Uh, I've looked at some of the Hammond transformers, and they don't quite fit the bill either. What really fits the bill is a transmitter transformer, and the Tempo 1 transformer is probably the closest one I can find. It won't fit physically very easily. I just hope it'll fit in the little square box that I have here to work with, and it's a squat little transformer. I'm not sure it has enough power to run the uh, all the tubes in this thing. This thing has like, I don't know, 27 tubes in it. I don't think it can run that, but I could hook the transformer up to half the tubes and the other half run a uh, another transformer. I could probably fit a 12 volt transformer or a six volt transformer for the tubes right here to run the tubes. Take out the shield. I've had this shield in here as a blast shield. This was a heat shield, but in case these uh, capacitors blew up, I've had this shield in here just, just to help. So yeah, that's my dilemma here. This thing has taken so much time so far. I'm, I'm kind of in the mode, do I get rid of it and just never see it again, or do I fix it? It's upsetting. So I did take the price down on this thing on eBay to $2.99 to uh, see if anybody would take it on. If somebody bought it, that would solve my problem. I wouldn't have to uh, work on it anymore. Part of me is like, I put so much time into fixing this thing, I shouldn't sell it. I should continue on and fix it. So. Maybe time to uh, just let it sit. I have a lot of trouble even moving it onto this desk because it's so heavy. It weighs about 70 pounds or something. So I did, I did find a way to uh, move it around up and down though. I can use that chair as a lever and lever it up to the desk. So that is a great little find. But it is a boat anchor and all the big boat anchors came out in uh, 1955 to like 1960, 61, and then the boat anchors were all done. Nobody worked on these anymore. And I guess because I acquired this this old 100V boat anchor, I wanted to get a matching receiver for it. So I, I picked up this boat anchor receiver here, which is definitely heavy. That's probably weighing in around 60 pounds, but that that receiver works really well. I, I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. So... All that remains here are the uh, the two Tentec radios. I, I got rid of the uh, Henry amplifier and I got rid of the Drake amplifier. I still have this SB200, so yeah, part, part, part of me is like, just quit messing with boat anchors and maybe take a break from ham radio or, or buy a uh, Yaesu FT710 or something and uh, a new modern radio from 2023 and just not mess with this stuff anymore. But something about tuning coils and power supplies and soldering and all that, it's just something I've done for so many years, and then I gave it up for 20 years and just started fiddling with this stuff about two and a half years ago again. So, yeah, it's the most intense I've been. I guess I could stop fixing radios and... Uh, give all this stuff away to somebody who likes to fix radios and quit doing this stuff. Maybe learn artificial intelligence or something that would make some real money. I don't know. Anyway, that's my dilemma. And um, I got to get back to some work stuff for work. But uh, this radio is uh, built like a tank. I spent, I spent days just fixing this VFO thing here. Getting it working. This is a very stable transmitter once you have it working. Anyway, yeah, maybe I can... I can shoehorn a uh, a Tempo One transformer in there if I can get the Tempo One power supply cheap enough from one of the eBay sellers. That's probably going to resurrect this radio. This transformer looks beautiful, but it it just has way too many too many volts coming out of it. And I think if I put resistors in series with the uh, 
secondary leads. I, I only I don't think that's a real good solution, really. They get hot as they should, but I don't think it delivers good current to the uh, finals. You really need the right power supply, so something that's right around where it should be. So uh, that requires a new transformer. Yeah, it's too bad this transformer didn't work out. The, the, the guy that I got it from is so busy, I don't think he could pull another one out of his storage and check the uh, secondary for me. He's, he's pretty busy, so I think I'm on my own to fix this thing with a decent transformer. Anyway, I should have probably bought a 200V, which is the successor to this that didn't have any uh, emotional problems. <laughs> no problems with the... Uh, power supply, maybe, maybe one that even worked. Anyway, that's my little story here, the tale of woe. I hope things are going well for you, and uh, thanks for watching my videos. Have a great day.